Okay, all of me. Right, I'm going to do a document for this because there's a lot of changes that come up quick, right? So let's have a look at these changes. We start with the C major chord, we go to an E7, A7, and then D minor, right? It's the first section. So we're just going to isolate, isolate that and examine it in, well, isolation. So the very first chord, C major, it's a clear, clearly just a C major, so we can play our A minor 7th over the top of that. Actually, be a C major sixth arpeggio. Okay, next chord, E7. Well, I mean that is kind of kind of a minor dominant. So minor dominance uh, or dominance in the minor key tend to have a flat nine associated with them. But you don't always have to play them that way. So there's two ways to do it. There's the gypsy jazz way, and there's the kind of more Charlie Christian way. So the gypsy jazz way. I would take these chords and I would put a diminished, a semitone up, and then for that one, because you quite a sort of almost classical kind of sound. So if I go, okay, diminished here, right? Hang on, sorry, it's the wrong diminished, is it? Yeah, sorry, big one. C major, okay, so uh, A minor seventh over the C major. F diminished over the E7, and there will be B flat diminished or A sharp diminished over the A, and then D minor 6, right? So that will go. You can do that if you want. Now Charlie Christian would probably just use the minor six over everything. So we would go C major. And then we go to that one. So that would be A minor six. Sorry, B minor six. A E minor six. So kind of a excuse me, so um, let's try it again. Kind of that kind of Charlie Christian sound right away, and perhaps in uh, conventional gypsy jazz we might play more of a major triad here. Maybe even kind of more something based on just a minor chord. But you know, you also have these these sounds that I love as well. These kind of Charlie Christiany sounds. Available. So we're going to carry on. Um, the next one goes back up to E7. And then we go down to A minor 7. Now D7. D minor G7. So what would we do for that? Well, we play. Go back to our F diminished. Sorry, I'm playing some licks there. Sticks the arpeggio. Okay, A minor 7th, right? Sixth. Yeah, let's change one note. D minor seventh. And D minor sixth. So it's quite quick. So the whole section goes. One minute. Let's try and play the right arpeggio. Yeah. <laughs> Third time lucky. Actually, I played minor sixth there. That's fine. But let's do it properly. We'll get it right, I promise. Okay, then back to C. Okay, right, so the whole section, the whole first section goes. Charlie Christian version. option there, so A minor 6 just to mix it up. Just diminish that. So you can chain them together a bit. A more Django-ish sound. That's not very Django, so... Uh,
actually. Like um, Charlie Parker uses these diminished chords a lot. Okay, so the second half is exactly the same as the first half, except we have a different ending, and the ending goes F major, F, uh, usually people play F minor sixth, and then uh, C, A7, and then D minor, or D7 sometimes, D7, C, right? Oh, yeah. Both fits the melody, so you can use either D7 or D minor there, depending on what sound you like. So, um, this bit is kind of, usually, uh, very often, rather, people play it like this. So that's D minor 7 shape standing in for F6 using our substitution. Go down to a D half diminished shape, which is the same thing as a F minor 6. Then we go down to C major. And then a F. Some kind of 2-5 voicing going into C, right? So, what we're going to do for that is really simple. It's like... Um, here we are um, on the F6. So we can go. Let me go back to C major. And then we're going to go, I reckon, a, do, um, a, do, a diminish there. And because it's quick, I'm not going to worry about the D minor 7, I'm just going to play D minor 6. So basically, it goes uh, D minor 7. Yeah. Go to F minor 6. Now, the way of doing that, which can make it a bit smoother and easier, is that if you look at the D minor 7, it's turned into a D half diminished chord. There's only one note different. Okay, so you just take the fifth and we flatten it. And that's how we play the last, the last sort of bit of that. So um, another way of looking at that is this progression. By the way, F F minor C F seven G seven G seven C. That's called Christoph by Gypsy Jazz musicians. It's a very common pattern, so it's good to learn it. Another way of doing it is you can just take the uh, look at it as an F minus uh, F major sixth. And then diminish. Uh, that's a lick I play. <laughs> oh, sorry, there's a few different things there, but if I just play the minor sixth arpeggio. Like and then, then the resolve back to C again. So that's cool. Um, be better, be um, ba ba doo dee ba um, ba ba What else? I mean, you could do it the slightly more Charlie Christian-y way. And then we go to C. Maybe do a blues lick there. E minus seven, A minus six, and then. Maybe, you know, using those minor sixth sounds more than diminished. So anyway, I've whacked through a load of stuff really quick, and I'll stick up a sheet, a worksheet, that will kind of cover it for you. But that's, that's basically how I play changes, you know, if I'm playing a blues. kind of sound to it. I wouldn't necessarily use that like arpeggios all the time. So it might be a simpler. So what I'm doing is just playing those arpeggios with extra added notes there and it sounds kind of cool. Um, 
There's one last thing you can do on all of me, which is a little bit more exotic. We can use the altered scale thing. So that means you take the dominant and you put the minus seventh, minus sixth arpeggio, sorry, uh, as minus sixth, a half step above. So we go. So it's this sound. I play F minus sixth. very often. It's kind of a bit like a tritone sub, you know, so normally we would play like um, A flat 6, A flat minor 6, sorry, uh, sorry, A, what am I talking about? B minor 6 going to um, D minor 6 and then down to D minor 6 that we're using the Charlie Christian version. So if I if I then tritone substitute that B minor 6, I get an F minor 6, and if I do the same to this, I get a B flat minor 6, so I would go like um, if I've got those names right. Try that, right? So, if I do the tritone subs, I could even go down a semitone or I could go the other way. B minor 6. B flat minor 6. Sounds good, right? And then. So it wasn't very good arpeggio there, but you get the idea, right? Okay, cool. So I mean, that's basically how I do it. Um, everything that I play in that, that kind of context is kind of based on that, even when I play sort of, uh, you know, scales like this. to play with it's really it's really cool I, li I like to do that and that's, that's what I've been kind of using as the basis of my playing for a few years now um, and it gets me through all the swing and bebop stuff so I definitely recommend it and as I said in the other video it can even act as a gateway to chord scale theory so for example if I'm playing you know, if I go on over the E7 if I play like a melodic minor line your um, scale choices and your scale positions on the arpeggios. F6 becomes, becomes the jazz minor. Didn't quite play that way. So that gives you like all these other colours, which are much more modern, especially if you start playing into Valically. Maybe, um, let's see, so... I mean, obviously, you, know, you wouldn't want to do too much of that in a Gypsy Jazz context. But it's a different colour, and it emerges very naturally out of using the arpeggios for me. So I'd highly recommend it. Anyway, hope you have some fun with that. Thanks for watching.